Putin sees final end of war in destroying Ukrainian statehood, ISW. Russian leader Vladimir Putin's statements have indicated that he does not want to agree on anything else other than destroying Ukrainian statehood and identity. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, said this. During a meeting with Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, Russian leader Vladimir Putin firmly rejected the notion of a negotiated ceasefire, instead advocating for a definitive conclusion to the war that would obliterate Ukrainian sovereignty. Putin emphasized that a temporary truce would only allow Ukraine to regroup and rearm, insisting on a comprehensive and irreversible end to the conflict. Putin's rhetoric and demands highlight his refusal to settle for anything less than the total dismantling of Ukrainian statehood and national identity. His conditions include the cession of substantial Ukrainian territories and the complete surrender of Ukrainian military as prerequisites for any peace talks. Furthermore, Putin likely envisions Ukraine's capitulation as a means to overthrow its democratically elected government, replacing it with a pro-Russian administration that aligns with his strategic interests. To thwart Putin's objectives, Ukraine must continue its counter-offensive operations aimed at reclaiming key territories. The international community, particularly Western allies, must accelerate their support to empower Ukraine's military efforts. This robust assistance is vital to disrupt Putin's plans, shorten the conflict, and achieve a peace settlement that respects Ukraine's sovereignty and meets the expectations of its global partners. Putin is demanding both the surrender of a significant portion of Ukraine's territory and people to Russian occupation and Ukrainian military capitulation in advance of any negotiations on an end state to the war. During the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit in Astana, Kazakhstan, Putin dismissed any prospects of ceasefire negotiations. The Russian ruler often portrays the West as his main negotiating partner to secure concessions on Ukrainian sovereignty, but dismissed all intermediary parties and Ukraine's Verkhovna Rada as illegitimate or unsuitable for talks. Putin's demand for Ukraine's demilitarization as a precondition for a ceasefire highlights his strategy. Ukraine's intelligence Kabul 9 Special Operations Group destroys numerous Russian supply chains. Representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Andriy Yusov, says that the Kabul 9 Special Operations Group has conducted successful operations and destroyed multiple Russian supply chains, according to Ukraine form. The Kabul 9 unit was formed at the onset of the all out war in Ukraine. It includes veterans of special services and the Ukrainian military. The unit's fighters participated in repelling Russian advances near Kyiv and defended the Ukrainian capital Hostomel and Braveri in 2022. After the Russians retreated from northern Ukraine, the unit was redeployed to the south. Mortar teams and sniper groups of the main intelligence directorate unit also operated during the defense of Bakhmut. The group from the Kabul 9 special operations units is showing excellent results and we see a lot of destroyed Russian equipment, vehicles and armored vehicles, Yusuf said. According to him, military logistics is a crucial target for the defense and security forces, especially for the Ukrainian Intelligence Special Operations Unit. A large number of Kamaz and Ural trucks have been destroyed by the Kabul 9, which transported ammunition, fuel, food, provisions and personnel for Russian forces. Earlier, a unit fighter told RBC that Moscow troops were also learning to prevent Ukrainian drones from targeting their logistics facilities and vehicles by installing electronic warfare systems on their equipment. In addition, the Russians change the supply routes constantly and move at night or dark hours covering from Ukraine's FPVs. Despite this, now we have also been supplied with night vision cameras and there have already been numerous nighttime strikes when the enemy hasn't had the opportunity to escape. They still need to carry out their logistical tasks, so they are forced to take risks, the fighter explained. Special operations forces of Ukraine often report eliminating enemy personnel concentrations with FPV drones, with reports detailing the elimination of more than a dozen Russian soldiers during one successful mission, as well as the destruction of various pieces of military equipment, including armored personnel carriers, tanks, anti-aircraft missile gun complexes, self-propelled artillery pieces, Pieces, howitzers, mortar positions, and TOS 1A 220mm Sant Sepkoi MLRS fitted with thermobaric warheads. 